You are watching Tutor Midge. So for today's topic, let us talk about sets. Let me define to you the terms in this topic. So the first one is set. This is a well-defined group of objects called elements that share a common characteristics. So elements, these are the objects contained in the set. Now we make use of capital letters to denote set and then yung small letter naman ay para sa ating mga elements. Okay, so let's make examples para mas maintindihan. So, number one, the set of vowels in the English alphabet. So, take note, this is well-defined set. We can have the capital letter V for that set, and then we make use of small letters as elements A, E, I, O, U. Now, let's have another one. For number two, The set of all multiples of 3. So let's make use of another letter, capital letter X, to set for set of all multiples of 3. Now we have elements 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and then we have here 3 dots. So I will explain it later. Now next we have the set of letter in the word collection. Okay, let's make use of another capital letter, Z. And then, let us type now the, there you are, the element C-O-L-E-T-I-N. Okay, so single lang lahat. Hindi dodoblehin yung mga letter, although double L yan. Okay, now let's, let's have example of not well-defined sets. So, we have the set of famous singers. We have the set of punctual students. We have also the set of honest learners. So, ang hirap kasing sabihin kung i-identify agad-agad yung mga yon, Kasi napakarami or parang malabo yung set na sinasabi. Okay, so to further understand, let us proceed with the three types of set. So, the first one is the finite set. Ano nga bang finite set? So, this is a set with a finite number of elements. It has its first and last elements. Okay, let's have an example. So, pag sinabing finite, ito yon. The set of vowels in the English alphabet. So, alam na natin kaagad yon. Ibig sabihin, meron talaga siyang first up to last na element. Kasi alam na naman natin na ang vowels ay A, E, I, O, U. Now, we have the infinite set. This is a set with an infinite number of elements. It has no last term. So, dito ang sample ay, yung second na sample natin kanina, the set of all multiples of 3. So, kung mapapansin dito, meron tayo rito yung ano, yan, yung 3 dots. Okay? So, ano nga ba tong 3 dots nito? We call this as ellipsis. So, yung ellipsis, siya yung nagsasabi na mayroon pa yung katuloy. Meaning, walang hangganan. Tuloy-tuloy, tuloy-tuloy. Yung ating elements. Now, the third one is our null or empty set. So, this is a set with no element. The symbol used is yung nandito sa baba, yung bracket at saka yung... Oh, take note of that one. So, example, the set of days is starting with letter P. Possible ba na mayroong letter P? So, wala. Ibig sabihin, yung ilalagay natin dito, open and close bracket lang na walang laman. So, pwede rin natin gamitin yung null symbol. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, wala tayong makikitang laman ng ating set. Now, we have also the universal set. This is a set that contains all object under consideration. So, symbol is U. Ito, sample. The set U contains the set of all letters of the English alphabet. So, ilalagay natin. Yung U natin, nakalagay na lahat yung ating alphabet na 26. Now, what is subset naman? Given any two sets A and B, if every element in A is also an element in B, then A is a subset of B. So, paano ito? 
sample tayo, gamitin natin si universal set dito. Okay, take note of the symbol sa baba, and then it is read as A is a subset of B. Now, let's have subsets of our universal set U. So, sabi dito, we have the set of vowels in English alphabet. So, kunin natin yung mga vowels. Let us make use of this one. No, gamitin na lang natin yung capital letter X. We have the vowels A, E, I, O, U. So, saan ito galing? Siya ay nasa loob ng ating universal set. Ayan. So, makikita natin sa loob ng ating universal set. Kaya, siya subset ng ating universal set. Now, we have also the set of consonants in English alphabet. So, let us pick all the consonants. So, ayan na siya. Galing din siya dito sa ating universal set. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng subset. Okay? So, pwede rin ang null set. Now, we have also the cardinality. Ano ba ang cardinality? It is the number of elements in a set. So, denoted by N of S. So, ano yung S? Yun yung label ng set. So, hindi lang S yon. So, pwedeng X, pwedeng Y, pwedeng ibang letters. Okay? So, to further understand cardinality, let's have examples. So, for finite set, the set of vowels in the English alphabet, so alam na natin kaagad-agad, ma-identify natin kung ano yung mga vowels. Now, we will just count the vowels. Okay? Ito yung sinasabing finite set kasi may hangganan. Now, ilan sila? 5. Therefore, we will write here N of B equals 5. Or the cardinality of B is 5. Now, let's have infinite set. The set of all multiples of 3. So, infinite siya. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang end. Dere-derecho lang yan. Dere-derecho. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin dito? So, we will now... Uh, okay, so we will now, of course, make use of the infinity symbol. Ayan. So, you will write here, the n of x, or the cardinality of x, is infinite. Ayan. Yung infinity symbol ang gagamitin natin. Null or empty set. So, ito naman yung example number 3, the set of days starting with letter P. Ayan. Meron ba talagang nag-start ng letter P? So, wala. So, pagka ganito, J equals, yan, walang laman. So, ano ang kanyang cardinality? May mabibilang ba tayo? Dahil wala, ano ang ating magiging cardinality? So, we'll be using N of Z equals 0. Okay? So, iba yung may 0 sa loob, ha? Pag may 0 sa loob, ibig sabihin may isang cardinality. So, hanggang dito na lamang, naway may natutunan sa araw na ito. Like and subscribe.